What's up, everybody? I'm Chase Lee reporting for DallasMovieScreens.com, and I got another movie to review for you guys, and that would be The Foreigner, starring Piers Brosnan and Jackie Chan, directed by Martin Campbell, which he directed Casino Royale, which is a James Bond film, and Piers Brosnan is James Bond. That's weird. But don't worry, because this movie is not weird, and it's actually a pretty solid uh, little action film. Um, so let's get real and break this down. Now, when I saw the trailers to this, I thought to myself, oh, cool, Jackie Chan, you know, he's getting up there in age. He, he wants to try to do this as long as he can, you know, kick butt, take names, and just do all these revenge flicks. And I got to tell you, uh, I was pleasantly surprised, uh, even more so than I thought I would be uh, just having a fun time. I actually had a really good time while watching this. So let's start with some of the pros first. Jackie Chan. This is going to be really weird for me to say, but this is actually the best, one of the better films I've ever seen him in. And he has minimal fight scenes and minimal dialogue. It is pure facial and eye acting. And it's absolutely astounding. You feel for this guy's pain, this guy's grief, this guy's just bloodthirsty revenge that he wants to go on. You feel everything and he doesn't even say hardly two pages of dialogue. It's actually quite impressive. The whole premise of the movie is that his, his something happens to his daughter. He wants to go hunt down the men that did it. That's pretty much it. And so... You figure like, oh, it's just a very basic character. He has like this bloodlust that he wants to go get quenched or whatever. No, he actually has a he has a directive. He is precise. Uh, he, he is definitely uh, um, persistent for sure. And I, I don't know. I just felt like I I knew everything about the character without him saying a word, and that really speaks volumes to Jackie Chan as a silent actor. He's really good uh, in this role, and so I really appreciated him being the main uh, lead in this. Uh, Pierce Brosnan plays the villain, and he is intimidating in some spots. Uh, he can be very threatening, and he does have that clout that you would want in a villain. Uh, I do have a negative, and it's my only negative of the film, but I'll get to it. Uh, and so getting the performances out of the way, going to the story, I really like the fact that it was relevant, kind of... Uh, uh, uses terrorism for political gain and motives and whatnot, uh, kind of reflecting what's going on today in this kind of sad, sad world. And uh, I really kind of like the parallel of that because this is, you know, scary stuff that does happen um, every day. And, you know, when a movie like this comes out, it when you see that, I don't think of it as exploitative. I just think of it as more grounded and more terrifying and realistic uh, and just adds, you know, just like I said, the extra grounded reality that you want in this type of film. Um, so it's not just all like cheesy uh, action one-liners and whatnot. No, it's actually you got some emotional weight to it. Uh, and that has to do with Jackie Chan and what happens with his daughter. And of course, the political relevance that's happening within this film. That's also happening around the world. I thought the action scenes were shot very well. The direction by Martin Campbell is a, uh, it's just a, Solid action film. Uh, the hand-to-hand -hand combat uh, with Jackie Chan and uh, the people that he does fight, um, it's very, very minimal, like I said, but uh, you can feel the bone crunches. You can feel the, the throws that Jackie Chan uh, does with these people. Um, he still got it. Even after all these years, he can still put on a show and really be commanding on screen, uh, whether it be with his acting um, um you know, verbally, non-verbally, and then, of course, with um, with his fist. Um, yeah, it's just a really well-directed movie. It's a really well-written film. I thought the, the combination of the script and the direction... Uh, in particular, really kept you on the edge of your seat. It was just on on your toes the entire time. The the intensity uh, that plagues throughout this film is actually really palpable, and I really enjoyed that because it it keeps you alert and it keeps you kind of like fresh as the movie keeps going. Nothing seems stale. It's like it's taking this turn, taking that turn, and it just keeps you excited throughout the entire uh, film. And you want to see Jackie Chan uh, just complete his journey, and it's very very satisfying. My only negative. So after the film was done, I asked my uh, my co-host of my podcast, who I saw this movie with, I said, is Pierce Brosnan, um, is he English or is he British? I mean, he pulls off very well in James Bond. You figure like that would be his accent, right? No, he's actually Irish. He plays an Irish guy in this movie and his accent is atrocious. <laughs> um, I, didn't, I didn't like his accent at all. And that's his native tongue. 
I don't know what to say. I, I think my co-host put it uh, properly and was... He basically just said that he was kind of overdoing the Irish accent, which that's what it seemed like. It seemed like he was trying to put on an accent that wasn't his, even though it is his. So it's just weird all around. So his accent was the only thing that bothered me. I thought this was a solid film with some really nice suspenseful twists and turns with a really great lead character that you really felt for and you wanted to see him get revenge on these terrible, terrible terrorists and the organization that Pierce Brosnan runs in the movie. I'm going to give The Foreigner a B. So what would you guys think about The Foreigner? Have you even heard of it? Comment that place below my face and let me know. And as always, guys, I'm Chase Lee reporting for DallasMovieScreens.com. And tune in next time for whatever I review next. I will see you guys later.